So to this question, as you can see on the screen, is that we have to find the uh, max number of pairs that can have the sum equals to k. Okay. So uh, we have will be given a array and the target value k that is equal to five here. So here are like two uh, that such pairs that their sum equals to uh, five. As you can see, three plus two equals to five, and one plus four equals to five. Okay. Now let's see the intuition behind that. So this is a slight variation of two sum problem. Instead of set, we will maintain a map which will store the count of the element present in the nums array. So suppose, for example, if this two was present two times, so we will uh, store two against the key as two in the map. Okay. So let's solve for this nums array. Okay. So first we will move to the zeroth position, and we will uh, we will create a count variable. We will see how we are going to do it in code, and we will also have a map as I told you here. So we will have empty map initially. So we will first uh, loop over this array. So we will check. Uh, so here k is like five. We will check k minus this element value is present in the map or not. So k is five and this value is one. So we will check four is present in the map or not. So if it not present, we will just uh, store the key. And uh, uh, count against it. So it, the one is present for one time only. So we will uh, store like one and one. So this is the key and this is the value in the map. So we will move to the next uh, element. That is two. Okay. So what we will do? We will same do the same. Five minus two is three. Three is not present. So we will simply add two in the map. So uh, so two is added, and uh, count will be one. Now we will move to the third element, that is three. So what we will do? We will do the same. We will check five minus three, that is two, which is present in the uh, map. You can see here. So five minus two, uh, three is two, which is present. So what we will do? We will just decrease this value zero, that is, it's not present in the map anymore. And what we will do is we will increase the count because we have found such pair in the uh, nums. So we will increase the count. So the count represent the number of pairs, which we have to find. So we will move to the next, and we will, are not going to store this three in in this because we discarded it. We used it to make a pair. We will uh, next move to the fourth element, that is four, and we will see five minus four, that is one, which is present in the map. So we will decrease its value to zero. That is, we will remove it from the map, and then we will increase the count. So all 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 are traversed. Now the answer is two, which is the output. So this is how we are going to do in the code. So the time complexity will be o of n because we are traversing only one time. So time complexity will be o of n, and the space complexity will be since we are uh, since we are storing this in a map. So it can be at uh, at worst all the values. So at max it will be o of n. So as you can see on the screen, we have the code. So first we have like created a map of int and int and a count variable, and then we are iterating over all the elements in the nums, and then we will checking if the value of if the value of k minus nums of ith uh, element pre present in the map or not. If if it is present and if its value is greater than zero, that is there is some uh, element that exists. K minus uh, nums element that exist, so we will increase the count. That is, we will find that there are two elements whose sum is uh, equals to the target value that is k. Okay, so we will increase the count that will represent the number of pairs, and then we will decrease uh, its value. Let's suppose there are two such values, so we will uh, decrease the count here so that we will it will represent that one is used and we have discarded it from the nums array. So if it is not present, then what we will do? We will simply add this value to our uh, map. That is, we will uh, increase the value against it. So it will be added to the map, and its value will be initially uh, from zero. It will it will become one, and then so and so forth. So at last, we will return our count, and that's the answer. Please like and share and comment if there is a better approach or a better solution.